Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Williams Fitness back again with another video. And yes, I want to touch on the Sean Roden um, rape allegations. Uh, I don't believe there's been any update for far too long now. The last update I found was from Fitness Vault, which was... Um, edited and printed on March 29th, 2021. Um, and Tom Miller, who wrote this article, believed that it was supposed to be a conference video call uh, being held the following Monday from March 29th. Now, the reason I want to do a story and a video on this is simply the fact that Sean was actually accused in October 2018. October 2018. That means we're coming up to nearly three years. Now, one of the reasons I want to touch on this is for the simple fact that obviously we are all well aware that he was banned from all bodybuilding competitions under the um, Olympia brand, the Olympia banner. And we it, this obviously needed to be addressed um, in some sort of way by the Olympia at that time. I do understand that. However, I do always believe innocence until proven guilty. He was wasn't proved guilty but he was judged as being guilty and they didn't want that sort of shadow cast over the olympia and i do kind of understand that but i do disagree with how they went about this by you know giving him a lifetime ban they could have suspended him you know pending in, in the investigation i think that would have made more sense um However, I do want to touch on this for for like i said two reasons one because what if he's not guilty that's nearly three years with no real real sponsorships, three years with no competition, um, no competitions, no revenue, no income. I, I am I am aware that Sean is now divorced because of the allegations. Um, I think he's now living out uh, in Vegas because he's constantly training at the Dragon's Lair. I haven't seen any content of him at Gold's Gym. Everybody knows that was his sort of main main domain that was where he was pretty much living out of him and staminal staminal have, st have stood by his side a lot of other content uh, a lot of other pro bodybuilders have flex lewis brandon curry and uh, you know the, if you just see his comment section uh, and any of his posts you see that the blue ticks you know my very good friend mark lowblind has always backed him um but my point is what about the vic team as well so obviously you know we're all a fan of sean or most people are a fan of sean roden let's say hypothetically he is guilty why has it all taken nearly three years to get a resolution to this so both parties let's say hypothetically that he is guilty that means the the victim this the, the lady the vic has, has had to go nearly three years without getting a conviction and vice versa so that's why i said there was two points i wanted to make one if he is found guilty that you know what sort of process does it take you know to run three years for a victim in, in the united states to have to go through this ordeal and vice versa you know sean could potentially still be a victim of this we don't know i'm not gonna you know I'm, I'm, I'm i'll always be on the fence with regards to this because we just don't know the facts we don't know the situation we don't know the details I just wanted to raise it because I just felt that it's been so long since we've had any sort of update on this. And it's been nearly three years since it was brought to light. So like I say, obviously that's three years for a potential victim um, of an assault or three years for an, a, you know, potentially somebody being accused of an assault they never committed. Now, does Sean, if he's found not guilty, will he get some sort of compensation? Will the Olympia compensate him? Will he get an apology? Will be will he get you know some sort of um, you know posting where he can then get back into competition? Or is that ban still in place? Where where where's Sean's future lie? Once you know this this actually comes to an end, when it comes to an end, I think nearly three years for any case is a joke especially something like this potentially you could have you know uh, somebody you know a potential predator so to speak out you know free for three years or somebody that's lied out for three years you know what i mean so sh there's two sides to this coin i'm not going to die you know jump on either side we don't know the facts but i do think there is a potential victim here either way either way there is a victim that is a fact, um, which just obviously 
you know the the American court process. I hate to say I am British. You know I'm well aware over here it can take up to a couple of years. I am I've been made aware that that you know a few cases have taken a little bit longer, but nearly three years, three years. This is this is crazy. So I'm hoping that this will be you know sort of resolved at some point this year. Um, I'm not sure what the sort of legal precedence is. I don't know if there's been some sort of talks in 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 and stewed I'm, I'm i'm not sure uh, comment below do you think there's been some sort of you know backroom deals going on obviously we've had covid i'm well aware there's been the covid situation for a year that's obviously created a huge backlog of people going in and out of courtrooms uh, in different areas i'm well aware that lockdowns have been taking place um and have been stricter in certain you know states than others i am aware of that i am well aware of that but there is also video conferencing, and I'm sure they would have put some sort of systems in place at some point to start working their way through the backlog. I don't believe for, for a second that there's not a way around that. The time is still available. The staff are still available. The judges are still available. They can just do it from a different, um, you know, sort of standpoint. So, it, you know, whether it's be from an office through video call and police stations, I, I'm, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs, but I just think three years is 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 just not good enough. It's just not good enough. Comment below. What do you guys think? Not with regards to who's guilty and who's innocent. Do you think that this will get resolved this year? Do you think if you know Sean is found innocent that the Olympia should allow him to have full status again to obviously enter into competitions, etc. And that note, guys, I've been me. You've been you. Peace. Peace.